Well, hi there. This is Jenny from the Sewing Palace in Helena, Montana. Thank you for joining me. Today's inspirational video is on the Hoffman Palette of the Season Jolly Noel. The pattern is written by Wendy Shepard and it features 12 gorgeous Hoffman Valley Batiks, high quality, gorgeous cottons. I'm going to show you the tips and tricks for one of the rows and we'll get started. Let's take a closer look at the quilt. Here it is behind me. It measures 60 by 75 when it's all finished. It's made up of several different rows and this Nordic um, snowflake repeats at the bottom. So does this great little nine patch unit that repeats at the bottom. And then there is um, a floral unit and then Noel. And right below this, there's a tree unit. I'll show you a little closer look at this. It's really quite cute. Here it is. Um, on the side here. So you can see the trees and then um, the nine patch unit and then again that Nordic sun <laughs> snowflake. So um, here is the quilt 60 by 75 written by Wendy Shepard. This is a free digital download from the Hoffman website. It's also on our website. It's Hoffman Palette of the Season Jolly Noel. We also have kits available that you can get all of those gorgeous batiks. Here is um, the layout of all the batiks that you get with a really fun a picture of the quilt. Here is the pattern that I'll show you. So the pattern is a really well written pattern, all color, step by step, um, showing a key for all your fabrics, everything you can walk through and make your project. And um, really nicely done. Again, thank you to Wendy Shepard and Hoffman Fabrics for writing that. Here is uh, the kit, and we do have this available on our website or in the store. Uh, here are all those beautiful 1895s that will make up your quilt. And then again, your background fabric uh, for the background of the quilt. So that is the kit and the pattern. Again, you can go to our website and purchase the kit or download the free pattern download. All right, I wanna show you how simple this quilt is to assemble. It's basically made up of squares, rectangles, half square triangles, and some flying geese units. It's really great piecing, and the pattern is well written in regards to cutting and has a key so that you can see all of your pieces and how they will be um, transpired into your quilt. So I'm gonna cover just this row here, which is the Noel quilt, the Noel section. I thought this would be a really great a table runner maybe, uh, or a bed runner at the bottom of a bed. So I'm just going to cover the letter N and O in the pattern. There's lots of pieces to cut and there is a great key so that you can follow the key to cut all of your pieces. It's on page 14 after you download the pattern from Hoffman or from the our website. And page 14 starts with the letter N and the cute little present and then we'll do the ornament with the letter O, uh, just so you can see those two steps. And you can use the Hoffman 1895 kit that has all of your colors with your key, it will match perfectly. Or if you're feeling courageous, you can pick some fabrics from your collection and make this quilt or this project with me. I'm gonna just, for example, use the Cheer and Merriment collection from Moda, and this will make up my Noel row in my quilt. So uh, again, I wanna do a shout out to Hoffman Fabrics and to Wendy Shepard for this really great pattern. Let's get started with some of our cutting. So on page 14, you need to decide uh, what color, unless you're following the kit, the letter N will be your present and your bow on there. And I've already started cutting, all the directions will have that laid out. So step one, we're gonna assemble the present. For the present, you'll have a strip pieced unit that has the two wrapping paper pieces, the ribbon in the center, and then some background strips on the side. And then for the top unit, you'll have a flying geese unit with two squares on each side. So let's look at those pieces a little closer. Here is the wrapping paper. Here is the ribbon and then the background strips on the side. You'll sew each of these seams and then press them towards the dark to yield a unit like this. Once that unit's complete, you'll need the bow unit, which looks like this. The bow unit is made up of a flying geese unit, which takes two small squares and a rectangle that will make your flying geese unit and then two squares on each side. To make this unit, you will take the rectangle and lay one of your squares 
right side down, and mark a line from point to point using a fabric friendly pen. The best way to use a ruler for this is to use a ruler that has a 45 degree line, line it up along that top edge, and then make sure the ruler intersects those two points. This will reaffirm that you have a perfect square. You'll mark a line diagonally from point to point. Then you'll sew directly on that line and trim away the excess right here. That will yield a piece that looks like this. So that excess is trimmed away with a quarter of an inch seam allowance and then flip it out and press it. Then your other square will lay right sides together and you want the angle going in a mirror image or the opposite direction, marking that line, press, um, sewing it, and then pressing and trimming away the excess. And there's your flying geese unit. You'll then add the two squares on the side to yield the top bow unit. And then you'll sew these two together and the bow will be right in the center. Next we're going to make the letter N for the word Noel. This is the unit that it will yield. And to start off, you cut a large rectangle of your letter fabric and two small squares of your background fabric. You will lay them right sides together, very similar to a flying geese unit, except the angles will be the same. Sew a line diagonally from point to point after marking it, press it away, and do the same thing on the other side, except keep the angle the same. Sew a line diagonally from point to point and press it, and that will yield the center of the N for your unit. Next, you will make two side units that are composed of your dark fabric and your background, and those will be for the sides, so you'll sew those together with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. I would suggest pressing these in the direction of the dark fabric so it doesn't shadow on your light fabric. And then your present will go in the bottom. There is your letter N for the beginning of the Noel quilt. Next we'll make the little ornament ball that is coming down in the letter O. This is a cute little ornament. It's strip pieced with some snowball corners in the side. So to start out you will have a ornament fabric an ornament fabric and then a band that goes horizontal in the ornament. You'll strip piece those and once those are strip pieced you will have all these tiny little corners that get sewn in the side. Well all four corners actually. So you want to strip piece that first and then you lay them in the side to create a snowball corner. That's been done on this piece here. So you sew from point to point, flip it out, point to point, flip it out, point to point, flip it out. And you will trim off this excess to a quarter of an inch seam allowance to yield a snowball block. And this will be your ornament. So you can trim those with scissors or with your rotary cutter. But there is your ornament and its direction is horizontal. Finishing up on the letter O, we have our small ornament in the center and then, the, then at the top, it gets some pieces added with a little bow in the center. Had it on the wrong side. The bow has to go out like so. So to make these units, they're um, a triangle sewn or a square sewn in the corner. So you'll have two long rectangles that will make up this. Then you'll put two squares and you want to make sure you get mirror images for the angles. One will go this way and one will go this way so that you'll have the two angles opposite. That will make those units and then of course you need that center band that will hold that together. You will strip piece those units together and it should match the width of this and then at the very bottom it gets a rectangle sewn on the bottom. Once this is sewn together as a unit, you will sew a background piece on each side and on each corner of that you will do that flip and sew technique, marking a line diagonally from point to point and you will yield 
two units that have snowball corners in the outside corners of it, and that will get sewn together as the center unit. Here is the center unit, partially assembled. The next step will be putting the rest of the letter O on. On the sides, you will take two rectangles that are the same height and attach those. And then on the bottom, you will have a longer rectangle that is that color, and you will do the snowball corners in each of those to start to create the curve of the letter O. The top has a half square, I'm sorry, a quarter square triangle unit. So if you take a look at that, at the very top there's a bow integrated at the top of the ornament and we'll do that step next. All right, we're almost done with our letter O. Here it is in the quilt. At the very top there is a quarter square triangle unit that will have the rest of the letter O and some snowball corners. So let's look at how to make that. We'll start with learning how to make a quarter square triangle unit. There are two squares that will make up that unit. I've picked a gold and a red. You will mark a line diagonally from point to point on this, right sides together, and sew a quarter inch on each side of the line. So you'll have a half square triangle and another half square triangle. So it will yield two half square triangles. You'll cut those half square triangles apart, yielding the two. Press the fabric towards one direction. On this example, I'm going to press this half square triangle towards the red and also this half square triangle towards the red. When you go to put these together, they will marry so that the opposite colors are lying on top of each other. You will then lay the two half square triangles so that opposite colors are on each side and you will line up that seam diagonally so that it just matches right in the middle. Then you will mark a line diagonally from point to point and sew on each side of that line. That will yield a quarter square triangle unit. You will actually have two and you only need one. So you'll have one that you can choose, which is your best one. You'll press that seam in one direction, or you can actually press this seam open. It will flatten that seam a little bit. So you can press that seam open, and then we'll trim it down to a perfect two and a half inch square. I have my quarter square triangle unit, and I need to trim it down. The favorite ruler that I would use for this is a square ruler that has a diagonal line uh, from point to point that's 45 degrees. I like this ruler from Creative Grids in either the six and a half or the seven and a half. There is a center point right in the center of my block. This needs to get trimmed to two and a half inches. So what I'll do is I'll line up my diagonal line along this seam and then I will look for the one and a quarter inch elbow and I'll line it right up in this corner right here. I'll trim this side and this side to yield part of a quarter square triangle that's trimmed. So I've trimmed this side and this side, pull my ruler away, rotate the block, and then do the same thing. Look for that diagonal line, the one and a quarter inch mark that will land right in the center, and then this edge that I just trimmed should land on the two and a half inch mark on my ruler. This is a great way to trim up your quarter square triangle unit. Let's assemble the top row of our O block. We'll have a fabric that is a rectangle, the color of our letter O, and you will sew in each corner a flip and sew triangle, kind of like the snowball triangles. One will go up here, and then the other one We'll go up here. These need to be mirror images so that it creates that curve. And then we'll start putting our other pieces so you can see it come together. There is the letter O for our Noel block. I hope you enjoyed making this with me again the pattern is available on our website 
you can go to um, the free pattern download and this is the pattern. We also have kits available that you can enjoy and it's the Hoffman Palette of the Season Jolly Noel. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great day and happy sewing. Bye-bye.